Cloud migration is top of mind for many organizations today. While moving to the cloud can be full of challenges, the cloud offers many advantages around increased agility, new and innovative services, and on-demand pricing that traditional data centers don't offer. So let's talk about one way to make migration easier, hosting your applications in a native VMware environment right in Google Cloud. Google Cloud VMware Engine is built to address the biggest issues that prevent most workloads from moving to the cloud, lack of resources, and the cost of re-architecting apps. With Google Cloud VMware Engine, you can migrate your apps with no changes to your processes because you run your applications on native VMware VMs in a dedicated and private SDDC. This means you can use the same tools, processes, and policies while still getting the advantages of being in the cloud, all on top of deeper integration with other Google Cloud services. And it doesn't take long to spin up an environment. You can quickly lower your total cost of ownership and spend more time planning how to re-architect down the road. Let's walk through a demo of how to set up Google Cloud VMware environment with just a few clicks. After clicking the navigation menu, we'll scroll down to the compute section and click VMware Engine, which takes us to an overview page. The overview provides you with additional details about the service and allows you to perform common operations, like launching the vSphere client, creating a private cloud, and adding and managing users. We'll create a private cloud by clicking the Create Private Cloud button, then entering a name for our new cloud. We'll stick with US East for the location and keep the node count at the minimum number of three. We'll input the CIDR range for our management appliances, then click Review and Create. While our private cloud is being created, let's talk about pricing, which is per node and includes all the storage, compute, and licensing to run your VMware environment. You'll pay monthly by default, but you can also sign up for one or three year plans to reduce costs. After our private cloud is created, we can access it from the resources screen, which is where you can view and manage all your private clouds. We'll click our new private cloud to view the configuration details. This is where you can view a summary of your cloud details, including which versions of vSphere, NSXT, and HCX you're currently using. The links in the upper right of the screen allow you to launch the Virtual Center client, which is the standard enterprise virtual center client VMware users know today, and expand your cloud by adding nodes. There are also additional options at the bottom of the screen that let you remove nodes, delete your cloud, and elevate your vSphere privileges, an important feature that gives you admin access in vCenter so you can make the configuration changes necessary to run certain third-party software. Let's scroll back up to the top of the screen and launch our vSphere client. After logging in, you can see that we're working with the same vSphere interface that's so familiar to admins. This native access to VMware provides you a standard way to control your applications while still getting all the benefits of running on Google Cloud. Now let's return to the Management Console page and take a look at the networking details and configuration options. This is where you can view your firewall tables and your subnets, create a public IP with just a single click, set up and manage VPN gateways, configure and manage your DNS profiles, and create and manage private connections to Google services. The Activities interface provides important details for your security and operations teams, including environment alerts, details about past events, and any currently running tasks and their status. Your team can also audit logs of any activities performed by users. The Account screen provides a summary of your entire VMware engine environment, including all your private clouds, and lets you subscribe to email alerts and add distribution lists. The account screen is also where you can manage any users that have access to the environment. One really nice feature of the VMware engine is the native integration into Google services. All the billing related to the service is integrated seamlessly into the online account management system, which allows you to see all the usage of your VMware engine dedicated nodes right in line with your other Google Cloud services. With this quick tour, we've shown you how to quickly generate a private, native VMware environment on Google Cloud and use all the same tools and processes you're already familiar with. The environment is fully supported by VMware and gives you the ability to create hybrid apps that integrate seamlessly with Google Cloud services. Google Cloud VMware Engine is available for you to try out now, so check out the documentation to learn more details and spin up your own private VMware environment.